guys welcome back so i am very sorry that i'm uploading this video a day too late and that's because i filmed it a day too late it's um i'm sorry i had deadlines today and um, earlier this week uh, my internship is coming to its end so we need to hand in a lot of paperwork you know reflection on all the projects that you did while doing your internship and stuff like that so on the 26th of january we have our final presentation and then we kind of need to present you know um, our time we had at our company but the other two interns deborah and severina are going to help me with that because we are going to present together so exciting times but also stressful so that's why i couldn't make it in time um i'm sorry but you know let's just start with my video first of all i would like to say thank you so much for all the 700 people that are actually watching my videos i reached 700 subscribers like a few days ago and i'm super excited for that so <laughs> yay and um, yeah, I kind of wanted to film my Q&A video. I posted a picture on Instagram a few days, maybe a week ago, um, you know, to ask you if you had any questions. So let's start. Um, let me get my phone because I print screened everything. Um, let's see, let's start off with... Uh, the questions I got through Instagram and then I continue with the ones, the few ones I got on Facebook. So, um, Lucky Beauty Lover asks me, which product do you absolutely want in the future? Well, it's the Tartlet uh, in Bloom palette. Like, oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty and the packaging looks so pretty. Like the, the purple and pink flowers. I just, I really want to have it. And I think I will probably have a chance of getting it because my boss is going to New York pretty soon and he agreed on bringing me some stuff so <laughs> okay um Kim uh, also left me a question she asked me if I had any New Year's beauty resolutions um, to wash my brushes probably to be honest I have all dirty brushes in here well actually it's quite all right, but I do need to wash them. <laughs> That's, you know, it's just a job that you kind of don't want to do, you know. It's basically the same that you don't want to spend money on foundation because, you know, but you need to have it because it's essential. But um, I want to spend my money on more eyeshadows and lipsticks, you know, it's, oh, it's so annoying, but yeah. And also that uh, brush washing machine, I kind of forgot the company that brought it out, but where basically the egg shaped machine where you, you know, stick your brushes in and then it kind of washes them for you. But I don't see how that will work because it will only fit like 10 brushes and you know, I have so many. So I would need like 10 or 20 of those machines all in a row, you know, cleaning my brushes and I don't know, that's not going to work. So probably I need to pay someone to do it for me I guess Mrs. Eilish I really hope I pronounced your name right girl um, she asks me if you could not use a product ever again which product would you dump oh god um, I don't know probably all the wrong shades of foundation that I have um, lip gloss probably lip gloss except uh, the one from Ila Masca that Rachel gifted me I am going to treasure this forever <laughs> but I would you know throw away all the lip gloss and also all the glossy finished lipsticks that I have throw away throw away I don't like glossy I'm wearing um, actually the Ila Masca gloss right now to kind of try it out and I sent Rachel a pic like look I'm wearing your lip gloss because she knows I I'm not really fond of it so um so the next question is from Veronique uh, Genter and she asks me what my favorite brush is um my favorite brush is uh, it's kind of hard can I pick more mm -hmm. I'm going to pick more um <clears throat> first this Zoeva face paint brush that's definitely a favorite of mine because it makes contouring so super easy and 
it looks stunning you know just look at it it's amazing and the quality of the Zoeva brush is also pretty pretty nice so um, next up would be a blending brush I guess I think I would go for the 217 by MAC this is a very very old brush um, the MAC logo and number is totally worn off I have this for over seven plus years maybe eight or nine um, and it's still going strong as you can see it kind of isn't as white as it used to be but it blends like perfectly and you know I also like to use this for cream products or maybe concealer for under your eye um, you know it washes out perfectly as you can see and I actually have several to a 17 brushes because I need to have several of them so Kim's boyfriend asked me a question as well and he asked me uh, which MAC lipstick name I find the most creative now <clears throat> now um, I don't know MAC has pretty weird names I think I uh, let me let me get it actually I think I would go for the Kelly yum yum because it's super fun that you know Kelly Osborne picked uh, exactly the same shade candy yum yum it's supposed to be her favorite shade and then named it kelly yum yum like yeah, okay <laughs> and i also liked uh, the name of the satin lipstick toxic tail and this was from the venomous villain collection and um this is a very old limited edition i'm very sorry <laughs> but um yeah it has the Evil Queen from Snow White on the tube so that was also a reason for me to you know run to the store and get this um, yeah but you know a toxic tale sounds like pretty badass so I like this name as well oh Nikki Murphy asks me on Facebook um, I would like to know what your future occupation goals are and where do you see yourself in 10 years well in 10 years I really hope to still have my YouTube channel I really like to you know make these videos and it also is very nice you know if I have like a special day or something I can vlog the whole thing and then I will have it forever on my channel and when I'm kind of older I can look back at my younger self and you know kind of don't forget about days you probably would otherwise forget about so that's pretty pretty nice um, I also I think I would like to be an animation designer in 10 years. That would be pretty, pretty awesome. So then the final question is from Tina Johnson and she asks me, um, or she actually said, uh, I have always been way more interested in makeup than my friends. Do you feel the same way or is your makeup interest more recent? Um, no, my interest in makeup isn't recent. I started off at a pretty young age. I just found it interesting and I always have been into, you know, drawing and painting. So for me, makeup was kind of in the same alley. So I, it just kind of became natural to me and it sparked my instant and it sparked my interest right away when I, you know, saw my first YouTube tutorial and that was when I was like 15 or 14 years old it was really, really back in the day when YouTube wasn't, you know, that big so I always have been interested in makeup and I always did research and I always knew what new collection was going to come out and my friends aren't really into makeup but uh, I do inspire some of my uh, female friends to you know buy a lipstick now and then and I give them makeup so they kind of become interested in it as well so basically those were the questions and if you have other questions for me for my next Q&A video you know please post them down below this video or go onto my Instagram and type it and then I kind of want to close this video off with one very exciting announcement. If you follow me on Instagram, you're already aware of this. But I am going to give away one Colourpop eyeshadow. So if you want to win a tea party, then um, head over to my Instagram and search for the picture I posted of tea party and i'm going to show you my own version of tea party not the one that you can win because i kind of want to keep that safely away 
Um, so this is what tea party looks like. Ah, it's so stunning. And I'm actually wearing it as an all over color on my eyelid today. So you can win this. Head over to my Instagram. See what you need to do, uh, you know, to win it. And please post my picture because that gives you more chips. And also, I don't really know the guidelines for giveaways and mentioning them on YouTube. But just, you know, to be safe. I did this on my own. I paid this with my own money. YouTube is not affiliated with me or, you know, whatever. I'm just organizing this on my own. Just so you know. So basically, that's it. I think I hear my boyfriend. He is home. So we are going to have dinner and I'm going to edit this video afterwards. And then, um, yeah, you will see it online, I guess. <laughs> so um, thank you so much for watching my video. And um, I hope you had a fantastic day. And thank you guys so, so much for watching and subscribing. And, ah, I'm just so happy. This really is my happy place. Um, yeah, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.